<laughs> Daddy called me a weird kid. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Jonathan Winters, a man of many faces, grew up in Dayton, Ohio. He remembers his childhood fondly. I'm the pro problem child in the family. Uh, uh, my parents were always, you know, what is he doing? I was the only one. What, what, what are we, you know? I'm this high. Can't you tell what I'm doing? Huh? Why have four years of college? What is he doing? What is he doing? He's dropping a log. That's right. Well, I'm talking about a Lincoln log. Please. He enlisted in the Marines at age 17, where he shared his humor with his buddies. After the war, he entered the Dayton Art Institute in the hopes of becoming a cartoonist. He met his future wife, Eileen, and it changed his life forever. After we'd been married for, oh, about six or seven months, a funny thing happened. Johnny lost his wristwatch, and I happened to read about a talent contest, and the first prize was a wristwatch. So I said, why don't you go down and win it? I was sure he would, and he did, and that was the beginning of his career. I did a thing that uh, a lot of us... Uh probably would like to do, maybe few of us don't, I don't know, I'll just have to ask you, did you ever undress in front of a dog? <laughs> uh, <laughs> With a hat and a prop, Johnny will create hilarious characters on the spot, like Coach Bates in this improvised scene with the Smothers Brothers. Oh. <laughs> That's another thing, I run funny. <laughs> I have tiny feet. <laughs> Got me out of service. <laughs> Boy, did I want to go. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Making fun of real life situations is what Jonathan does best to his characters, but he doesn't hesitate to laugh at his own life's experiences. This is my first time out in quite a while. <laughs> People have uh, said to me on occasion, a standard, very commercial, how do you feel? And I always say, well, I'm out. <laughs> and a very normal person says, but I don't understand. <laughs> well, you'd have to be in to appreciate that. <laughs> so we won't go into those kind of jokes. Where was he? <laughs> I can tell you this, there were two men always. <laughs> Sit down, honky, I had enough of your tray. Keep your little raisin eyes to yourself. Otherwise, put your electric helmet on. You ain't going anywhere. And the other man, you heard what Doc said. In the early 60s, he started motion pictures. His unique brand of madness added a very special quality to It's a mad, 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 mad world. Okay. That's the way you want. That's the way you're going to get it. Jonathan followed with six consecutive movies, but it's in television that Jonathan was reborn as the son of Mork and Mindy. Oh, come on now. There's nothing to be afraid. Let's go. Come, come on. on. No, you didn't have any unit. Listen. Min. Mindy can walk. Mork, he can destroy. <laughs> Amazing. Come to mama. Come on. There we go. The one for baby news. One for there we go. There's one. And there's another one. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. And Playboy. One for Playboy. There we go. Okay. After dark. One for after dark. He was honored with the American Comedy Award for Jonathan Winters and his traveling road show. It's a very emotional evening. They're coming right down to the wire now, and many people either want to eat or go to the bathroom. He also won an Emmy for Best Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series for Davis Rule. Grandpa, I'm desperate. Really? You know, if you were 30 years older and a woman, I'd really be happy to see you. For over 40 years, Jonathan Winters has conquered just about every medium. He has appeared on countless TV shows, hosted some, created others, he has recorded a dozen comedy albums, published three books, and even finds time to paint in masterful fashion. 
As a comedian, his strange way of looking at life and his incredible skill at improvisation has made him a favorite of audiences of all ages. What Jack Parr said 30 years ago still holds true today. Unique is a dangerous word to use, but there's a frenetic, wildly inventive quality about Johnny that I don't believe has ever been duplicated. Oh, it's good to have you here, Grandma. How is that new supposed petticoat? Are those things working out all right, are they, for you? Suppose. Yes. You are living underwear, gra uh, Grandma? <laughs> Marty, you are living underwear? I'm going to tell you something, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't wear a thing. <laughs> One little old troublemaker. <laughs> hey! I wish I could be humble, but I can't. <laughs> well, it's time to honor him shows up to accept this under the name of Jonathan Winters, ladies and gentlemen, whomever, come on. How are we tonight? I want to I want to thank some characters that have been with me these 67 and a half years, and just to say a, a line or two, uh, Elwood P. Suggins, Elwood. Well, I just wanted to say it's just such a thrill, Jonathan, just to come up on the stage and be here with you. And I remember he was on he was on I-75. I remember that night on I-75 when you sprayed yourself aluminum, run out there onto the middle of the highway and the truck stuck you down. You still managed to get to church and you're, you're all right again. That's good. <laughs> and I remember uh, Leslie Fitzpuffin from England flew all the way. Yes, I, I, I wonder thank Jonathan. I really do. I, I'm one of his few British friends and I'm in the acting business and I've been for some time now. And I do want to thank him. I thought it was rather uh, naughty of him to make me fly air cargo. And, uh, I'm not a Christian scientist. I couldn't hold my breath that long. <laughs> and last but not least, Maud Frecker, who says, Oh, God, how what a joy it was. I remember you were a small boy down in the basement. <laughs> and you played with that little dog too long. <laughs> its eyes became enlarged. <laughs> you can hold it just so tight. Ah, ah, ah. I want to say a, a special thanks to um, a man uh, who was my agent, would have been for some 40 years that couldn't be here tonight. He passed away in April, George Spoda, and uh, his good lady is here tonight. And it's, That's about it. Boy, the, I, too bad the guy didn't even it off a little, but <laughs> far be it to make fun of sculptors. <laughs> but there's a lot of this stuff going around. I mean, you put this in your doorway or in your kitchen, and the karma from it, boy, it'll suck the parakeets right out of the window. <laughs> Helps us celebrate the career and 85th birthday of Mr. Television, Uncle Dildy.